is the Fairbanks Morris two-cylinder uh, diesel. And we're getting ready to start it for the first time today, so the engine is cold. So these are starting aids. Uh, originally, they were probably used with like a black powder fuse or something similar. Uh, we found something that works pretty good here. And we're going to stick pieces of all wooden sparklers in the end of these, fireworks sparklers, and then light these, and that'll act as a glow plug to get the engine started for the first time. And then it'll, then it'll uh, take off and run the rest of the day once we get it hot. Um, we're gonna open the compression releases so we can set the flywheel to the proper position for starting with the air starter. And we'll go down here and get everything ready. What we'll do is we'll take this sparkler. It's got a wooden stick, so there's nothing inside the uh, cylinder that'll cause damage. And just break off a little inch or so piece there inch and a half and then we've got a piece of paper towel shoved in there to uh, help hold it in so we'll do both of these okay so these are ready all we got to do is light them with the torch here in a minute um, okay. This engine ran on a really large fuel tank back when it was used uh, on Sapelo Island off the coast of Georgia. It was used with a, a sister engine just like this to power a generator. Um, and it was RJ Reynolds Plantation, so these two engines powered the whole island. So we've just got a bucket here that's got fuel in it. And the fuel pump right here circulates fuel into this reservoir, and this reservoir is what the engine actually runs on. And then it uh, overflow drains back here what's not being used by the engine, so it just kind of cycles it through. So we're getting ready to fire it up here. We've got the compression releases in, uh, open on the engine so we can spin the flywheel. Use this bar. Set it. The crankshaft in the right position for the air starter to engage. And then we got to be sure and shut the compression. Okay. Now we're ready to start it. Go ahead. I'm filming. This is a four-speed lubricator, and all I did with that, turning it a few times, it forces oil through all these tubes to all the different components on the engine. So we just uh, cranked that a few times before we started to make sure there's fresh oil on all the important surfaces.
Hello. <laughs>